Asmongold. Asmongold. I personally think, and I've always thought this anyway, it's pretty difficult to listen to somebody's opinion about like health and fitness when they're fat. It's pretty hard to listen to somebody's opinion on beauty when they're ugly. It's hard to listen to somebody's opinion on hair care when they're bored. So I've never won I've never understood why some people, some people within this content game, streaming game, will legitimately hang on to the words of some of these live streamers when some of these live streamers are the same people who's been on stream and legitimately a cockroach has climbed, you know, crawled all over their shirt. They live in an absolute pig style of a bedroom and everything else in between, yet they make millions per year. And it's like, why would you do that to yourself? So in this particular clip, you have a clip of Asmund Gold talking about or finally admitting all of his health problems that he's run into as a consequence of his poor diet. As a consequence of his poor diet and his terrible fucking sleeping patterns and shit. So listen to Asmund Gold try to make sense of what's happening to him especially because it was he had a near to death moment. I guess I, I can probably just like say, uh, I, I kind of don't want to hide it a whole lot. Is like, so I've been having problems recently. Like, uh, like I remember, remember the day that I ended my stream early. Um, so I went to the emergency room that day and because I felt like uh, uncomfortable, like a discomfort in my chest. And so they did an EKG on me and like they did all this stuff and they said that I was okay, but my blood pressure was very high. And so, uh, imagine being, imagine being that rich. Imagine also being that visibly skinny, but you're suffering from high blood pressure. That must mean you're just eating pure filth in it. Like pure filth, like actual poison. You're that skinny, yet you're suffering from high blood pressure. You might even have diabetes or some shit. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine what you're putting your body through? It was like, cause I, I've actually been like, I've had very bad stress problems a lot. Like the point. Oh, who like would have guessed it? Who would have guessed living on a diet of fucking energy drinks would cause you to be kind of anxious and stressed? <laughs> who would guess? Who would have guessed? I my policy is that what do I do when I'm scared? What do I do when I'm anxious? What do I do when anything? I'm I'm upset. I'm sad. Uh, it's very simple. I fucking ignore it and I keep going no matter what. <laughs> but I was worried that it was I, I, it, that it's killing me. And I'm concerned that it might be. And so I've had to dial back a lot of the stress. And so uh, I've had to deal with this and like my- And I love how he keeps talking about the stress as like a singular thing, separate from what he eats, what he drinks, the time that he sleeps, you know, exercise he's making the stress thing like its own thing and it's not linked to everything else that he puts into his body it's like brother brother you're a fucking live streamer that plays games you shouldn't be distressed if you are distressed there are things going on in your life you should probably fix my blood pressure was in like the 170s it was really really bad because how 170 blood pressure doesn't sound good it doesn't sound good to me what is a what is a good what it, what's, what's, that, what's, what's a good blood pressure level? That doesn't sound good. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but that doesn't sound good. For most adults, for most adults, a normal pressure is systolic pressure of less than 120. A normal, pre yeah, big up a Z. Normal is under 140, 120. <laughs> this guy's blood pressure is 170. <coughs> um... For most adults, normal blood pressure is um, systolic pressure of less than 120 and diastolic pressure of less than 80. Blood pressure is measured in two numbers, systolic pressure, which is higher number, and diastolic pressure, which is a lower number. Systolic pressure is the pressure against your arteries when your heart pumps blood, and diastolic is pressure in your heart relaxes between beats. So I guess anywhere between 80 to 120 is a good range. 170. This guy's blood pressure was 170 and he might be like 90 pounds stressed out i've been and um so that's why i haven't been streaming as much for like a number of days 
one day, 70. So, so I just had a, a nosebleed. And so I thought to myself, oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. Big up, uh, big up, uh, big up, uh, Toby. Toby Shakuru. Exactly, Toby. At least exercise or jog for a couple of minutes. Exactly. If you're going to eat like shit. And I've done, and I think it's easier when you're younger. Maybe when you get older, your metabolism fucks up. But even when I was younger, I think everyone kind of understood it. You ate like shit. You ate chicken and chips every single day. Ice cream's on the way home when you're fucking, if it's too warm, drinking fucking liter bottles of Coca-Cola. But guess what? We were outside and playing football every day, all day. So it kind of offset, didn't really, but it kind of did offset what we were doing. Obviously, when you get older, it's impossible to play football all day because you have to work, you have to life, da 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 da. So you kind of just like, you know, you have it in balance. So at least work out. Like I said, go for a walk, an, a fucking half an hour walk for five days or for until Monday to Friday. It's not really that hard, especially if you're a live streamer. Before, you're, before you stream, you walk to the, your fucking favorite restaurant to go pick up some food. Then you come back. Bang, you got your walk in. Or you go to, or you walk to go get a drink. Then you come back. Bang, you got your walk in. That's all we have to do. But he, he he probably was doing nothing. Zero. Just waking up and streaming. Wake up and streaming. Like, of course you're going to, of course, you're going to be stressed, bro. The things you're putting in your body, your high blood pressure, that's what's causing you the stress. But he's talking about the stress like it's like, it's almost like he's talking about stress. Like, it's a, like as if he's suffering from depression, you know? Like it's a mental health thing. No, this has to do with, and even sometimes there's studies that sound, that have shown you can maybe help curb some of those mental health issues by what you put in your body. But that's a different thing completely, right? He's d dealing with it like he's completely separate. Like, no, no, there's just nothing to do with my food or eating. But I think he's saying stuff like this because if I'm not mistaken, Asmund Gold is known as the type of person who like doesn't, you know, ah, oh, I don't enjoy food. I just eat food for fuel. Um, You don't really need to eat these certain things. You can get all your calories from beef jerky and, and energy drinks. You know, he's one of those type of, he's one of those people. So I think the reason why he's talking like this and even why he's got this kind of look on his face and he's a bit like, you know, anxious and shit. I think he's kind of embarrassed. Because even the title of the video didn't remain. I was like, why, why is he title the video like that? Look at, look at the title of the video. I don't want to hide it anymore. So clearly... He was selling people on this dream or on this vision of of a life of a streamer's lifestyle where you could like eat whatever you want, but as long as it was in your caloric deficit or whatever, you know, recommended caloric amount, it was okay if you got your calories from a beef like getting your calories from a beef jerky or getting your calories from a nice nutritious homemade meal, it's the same sort of thing. Um, probably the kind of person that that fucking drinks um solvent those fucking meal replacement things every day and think that's good enough. You don't need to eat a steak. I could just drink one, blah, 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 blah. But then now his, now his body has shown him, nah, 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 that's not possible. And now he's kind of embarrassed. And that's why he's probably talking about stress, stress, stress. It's our brother. It's not the stress. I think, I think it might be the Gatorades. My God, because that's an indicator of, uh, of a stroke or like a heart attack. And so that's why I went downstairs to take my blood pressure in to make sure that I was okay. Uh, and I checked my nose and I found it was actually, I was just picking at my nose the wrong way. Oh and, uh, my seems God, like man. I would prefer if you were doing drugs. How's your nose bleeding? A, you don't have an allergy. B, you don't do drugs, but your nose bleeds, runs with blood because you pick it the wrong way. So what, does that mean you don't cut your nails? Or does that mean you're digging into your, like what's happening there? Are your nails like, Jamaican yardy man long or do you just like claw away at your insides of your nose what the fuck is going on here doesn't do drugs doesn't drink but has a bleed like bro there's something wrong with you and um, pick up um, Shay's cow no he is Shay's cow he is I heard this guy's name so often I assume he was um, some top streamer he is a top streamer huge his, his views do his videos do numbers and he's also like in the He's also in like the Charlie Moist critical lane. He does a lot of like reactionary videos, like kind of like what I do as well on a low level. But he does like reactionary videos and commentary videos and shit. And these videos get tons of views. He's very well, he's very well liked and very well viewed, which is what something I've never understood. Because personally, for me, again, it doesn't, it shouldn't matter really. But you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a normal human being, and sometimes how somebody presents will affect the way that I consume or don't consume their content. And when I saw him for the first time, I kind of looked behind the, the back of his room and shit. And just what he looks like, like, I can't vibe with it. He looks like he stinks. You know what I mean? Like, just, it's not for me personally. So I can never take what he says seriously. 
But people out there love what he does. Love him, love him, love him, love him. So it's just funny to see him in this situation where the things that he was told not to do and to, to avoid are now coming home to roost. And it's even worse because in this particular fact, I'd imagine he's also one of those type of people that probably takes a lot of pleasure in being like skinny, v being fat. Oh, but I'm not fat though. You know, but at least I'm not fat. I eat this, but I'm not fat. It's like, but, you know, like it doesn't matter clearly because you've clearly shown if you're unhealthy, if you don't look after yourself, regardless of what you weigh, your body, your body's going to pay the price and look at you now. Uh, so uh, that's the reason why. Um, and I, I've been exercising every day now and I've changed. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry to love, but he looks like he looks like he got properly rattled by the health scare in it. You know, some people don't learn the good way or they don't learn the easy way, they learn the hard way. And this is him learning the hard way. So maybe it's a good thing overall. Maybe in the end it's a good thing. He's going to finally get healthy. He's going to finally look after himself and shit. But he looks rattled. Like, that health scare was real. Changed what I was eating too uh, already. And I'm probably going to have to schedule an appointment with my doctor about this to make sure that I'm okay. Um, Because it was really weird that I had like that feeling. Um, That's heart attack level? Yeah, it is. But I just I just checked it. It's not anywhere near that. Um, it's like one thirty five, which is like that's not great, but it's not also. Uh, do you do you say your heart? Your, it was one seventy. Now you're saying one thirty five. You know, like like worrisome, right? One thirty five is still high. Uh, panic attack. Yeah, cardio will help for this. Yeah, and that's exactly what I've been doing, and so that's the reason actually why I've been uh, I've been doing shorter streams. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it a lot. Um, <laughs> You don't want to talk about... Why don't you want to talk about it a lot, eh? Why don't you want to talk about it a lot? He feels shame. You shouldn't feel shame at this point. People are going to say, I told you so. Let them say, I told you so. If they can offer you some help, if maybe sharing it, you know, sharing your update with people makes you accountable in something, do it. But you shouldn't be ashamed. It's too late now. And also, your life is on the line. Why do you care if people are going to be selling you, I told you so, and, you know, whatever else it may be. Just whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? Like, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it too much. <laughs> because he's always going to get called out. He doesn't want to, like, <laughs> face the reality that he was wrong. Like, disastrously wrong as well. Give me a second. My dad's calling me. Hello? Hey. That's the thing, though, 7.30. He's so rich, I don't understand why he got the health of a drug addict. That's the thing. It'd be far more impressive. And far better if you actually want addicted to drugs. Being addicted to drugs and having your room look that way, being in that poor of shape, your nose bleeding, all that sort of shit makes sense. It adds. But at least you have the fun of doing the drugs and all the activities that come with it. You're just streaming online and you've got all of these fucking problems with your body. Like, like, come on, man. Come on. Can can he just can you just let me do this? Like I'm I'm like I'll talk to you later. I, I don't want Yeah, exactly. Um, If that's true, okay, I didn't know that's true. His mom just died. He's in deep depression. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. If that is true, that also is another, that also is another sign of just how, like, of just how random your response to, like, grief, or no, you, just, how, just how long, just how random everyone responses when it comes to grief. Because some people would say on paper, oh, shit, your mom died from health complications or maybe just passed away in general. It would make you, like, reassess your own mortality and it would want you to, it would make you want to take your health more seriously and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's not like that sometimes. It's not like that. Sometimes maybe it sends you to a spiral and that spiral then sends you into eating and eating, eating and drinking more shit. So it has the adverse effect. You never know. You never really know. You have to make that decision about improving your health yourself without any external sort of like motivation. Do you know what I mean? You have to kind of just do it yourself. Obviously, now he's doing it because of the health scare, but there's no real rhyme or reason why, oh, your parents died. Now you're going to take stuff seriously. No, 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 no. If you're not taking your life seriously, sometimes when bad things happen to you, it can actually make things worse. So, God damn it, bro. Can you just imagine going through that at the same time? Your parents passing and you go through that. like to talk about that kind of stuff because it just... Uh... I think it invites a lot of like parasocial stuff, but you know, since I've had to end stream, <laughs> uh, this this I I love people like battling with their ego. He's more worried about his fans being parasocial now that he's sharing stuff about his health updates and shit than he is about just being open about 
his issues to maybe help other people and warn them that, hey, don't repeat my mistakes or just to be accountable to his fans. It's like, bro, now's not the time to like be telling people what and what they cannot say about what you're doing. Either you don't bring it up or you bring it up completely. But let's not do this middle of the ground thing. Like, okay, I'm just going to tell you something now, but you you can't ask me any questions. It's like, bro, we're too late now. We're, we're too far down the road, man. You nearly died. Like, come on. Came early a few days and like, it's still fucking with my head. Like I, uh, oh god oh jesus <laughs> um yeah and so that that's really it oh, i'm starting any healthier it's catching up to you bro i think it's honestly stress more than anything else wow don't get me wrong i think eventually he will get there it's just hard isn't it when you're when you've been eating the way he's been eating and living the way he's been eating especially he's got he's got another like issue that we don't probably all have he's also made millions of dollars he's also insanely popular so that must it must be like a a version of a confirmation bias because you're living this shit that, that you're living a life that everyone is saying is degenerate is is a bit bummy and shit is horrible is disgusting but you're also making a lot of money because you're a live streamer and you're a gamer and shit and you're just popular online people like you blah blah blah. you got tons of subs so you're making a bunch of money so it's probably hard for you to like listen to what people have to say because you're like um you, you don't have money. You know what I mean, like, obviously I'm doing, some, obviously, obviously I'm doing something, right? Because I'm always streaming. So all these energy drinks that I'm drinking are obviously helping me with my job. Um, you know, whatever. I'm always up and alert. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's the beef jerky and the sodium in this. Who knows? Whatever. So it's probably difficult for him to break that at the moment. But eventually he will get there. But for him to think stress isn't linked to what you eat is insane. Like, as if your brain isn't linked to your body. As if your body is linked to your brain. Like, come on, brother. Come on. Like it, it's uh, it's it's really just stress and it's a lack of exercise and so I'm going to exercise and stress out uh, and try to be stressed out less. Uh, like because it was weird that stress is insidious killer. I know it'll be hypertension. It is, yeah. And so uh, that that's been the position that I've been in. <laughs> He's just picking the chats that he agrees with. I love him. Man. He's just picking the chats he agrees with. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you're totally right. I was thinking the same thing too. So like, come on, bro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I I've been trying to just be on. And also, do you remember? Isn't this the person? Isn't this the same guy that was arguing that working uh, streaming is as hard, if not harder, than working a nine to five? Bro, can you imagine? This guy would have offed himself. If you if he had to work a shitty job, picking and packing in a warehouse, construction, working retail, and like, because I always feel like I worked retail and I thought that was a shitty job. But I think there's a levels of retail that are shitty. I think, imagine what he would do if he had to work at like a TJ Maxx in like a shopping center where no one goes. Those are real shitty jobs. You work retail in a shopping district or on a street that isn't that busy. You have to open and close every single day. And sometimes you get like one or two customers coming in. And you have a manager that still tries to tell you to like act busy. So you have to pretend to work in a store where no one's in. <laughs> to make money to pay your rent. And to like pay your bills and live your life. And he's trying to tell you playing Magic the Gathering online is harder than that. Fuck off, man. Fuck off you know stream as much as i can and everything and uh you know say fuck it it's it's fine but uh i, I don't want to i don't want to kill myself right which is weird right because like... <laughs> it was just weird, bro that's what happens with you who who would have known who would have known ordering doordash three times a day seven times a week plus living on gatorade and beef jerky would maybe drive you to depression who would have guessed it who would have guessed it? Uh, big up Dylan B. I was at Burger King off the side of a shitty busway. That was the most brutal job. Exactly. Because retail sometimes or bar jobs aren't that bad. You work in a, even if you're working in a chain bar, chain restaurant is busy, like that busy and popping. And sometimes I've worked in places where sometimes, honestly, you get lucky. The job is terrible, but the people you work with are so awesome. 
Like they cover the whole fucking smorgasbord of, pop of the human population. Everywhere from like a seven year old to like a 19 year old. You're hanging around, having fun, like working. You all hate the managers together. You've all got the crush on the same girls in the, in the fucking place that you work in. You fuck around with each other. Like it's vibes, even the job is shit. But there's no worse job in the world than a job where nobody nobody comes there <laughs> there's nobody you work in like a fucking hardware store and there's nobody there you have to fucking take delivery of shit stack it label it but do all that work shit but there's nobody buying shit and it just keeps chugging along every year it just keeps chugging along and you have to get up every day and go there all sprite and act all sprightly pushing yourself through dreading that bus ride dreading the car ride all those times where real niggas know, because I think in America is different. I think you guys in America, in America, you guys have a work week of like Sunday to Monday. No, yeah, I think you guys have the work week of Sunday to Monday. But in the UK, our, our work week is sun Monday to Sunday. Anyway, you know you work a shitty job where on the Sunday, on the Sunday morning, Sunday fucking morning, and sometimes when I was really going through it at my shitty job, when I was out on a Saturday night, there'd be a moment where I'd, I'd, I'd remember, oh shit, it's going to be work on Monday. And I'd immediately get depressed. <laughs> I'd be out raving. I'd be out raving. I might even be in the toilets, taking a piss. And then suddenly it'd hit me. Oh shit, you're back in work on Monday. <laughs> you hate your job so much, you're thinking about it on a Saturday evening. That's when you know you've got a shitty job. And these streamers, these streamers are sit on their asses. Some of these successful live streamers sit on their asses in their paid for houses with all their bills covered loads of fucking money coming they probably make more on subs they probably make more on monthly subs monthly subs than some of us make in a year or have ever made in our lifetime and they're trying to tell you oh my job is harder bitch it's like i've tried very hard to like kind of move away from like being afraid of like dying and, and like all that stuff but man that day i realized that like holy fuck like i was scared man i really was and so, uh, yeah, <laughs> big up Booth McGee, big up Booth McGee. I work, I show up to work barely alive for 12 hours and keep it pushing. <laughs> exactly. That's what we all did. That's what we've all done. We've just kept it pushing. Whatever thoughts we had in our head, it didn't matter. <laughs> really? We didn't have these, we didn't have parasocial fans to help us to kind of soothe our pain. We just kept it pushing. What else are you going to do? Quit. And then what? Starve. Then die. Of course not. You just keep it pushing. <laughs> I ordered protein bars and, you know, we're drinking water now. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, protein bars. I know. I know it's a start. I know it's a start. But come on, brother. Can we maybe learn how to cook one meal? Can we maybe learn how to cook one meal? Can we maybe learn how to cook, I don't know, steak and sweet potato fries, steak and some veggies, something, something, some sort of pasta, something, just something healthy. Can we learn to cook one thing that might be nutritious for you, that might be good for whatever, because I'm sure he could probably go online and Google and find out there's certain meals or certain foods that you can eat that can alleviate his high blood pressure or whatever. Just something, one thing. Protein bars. You think you need protein? Can't you just get protein from actual animal products or vegetables and shit? Is that not possible? You have to go get it from a bar. Fucking hell, man. So, anyway, I know he'll get there eventually. I know he'll get there, but God Almighty, this guy, man. And uh, we're, we've got to make some. We've got to make some improvements. Uh, that's it. And so, uh, that that's where we're at uh that that's pretty much about it so i i don't we have to make some improvements i thought you don't want a process relationship we have to make some improvements we it's you brother you gotta sort yourself out if you croak over your fans just go somewhere else that's a sad thing his fans like him he's got a good he's got like a massive fan base clearly he's doing something right be there for your fucking fans be there for your fucking family man just put down the fucking protein bars and learn how to cook one meal Maybe cut back on the door dashes. Maybe instead of getting three a day, you get one. Is that is that possible? 
And maybe you, and from the one you choose, maybe you try and choose like a healthy option every every day. You pick like a healthy place that does like salads or like fucking, you know, something. Come on, man. God damn. I don't want to talk about it a whole lot more and or anything like that. It, it, it's it's whatever. Open a Gatorade. I actually did get Gatorade. I got Gatorade as well. Yep, there we go. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Open a Gatorade. I actually did get Gatorade. I got Gatorade as well. Of course, of course you got Gatorade. Of course you got a malt. Of course. That's what you need, isn't it? Man, man goes to the fuck hospital and finds out he's got, his blood pressure is 170. And he weighs like 110 pounds. And the first thing he does is go buy protein bars and Gatorade. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck, you know, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever happens, isn't it? Whatever happens, happens. Life plays out the way it plays out. I'll oh, big up KP. Um, He was dating a streamer called Pink Sparkles. She had her OnlyFans. Okay, I don't know who that is, to be fair. I'm not that... To be fair, I'm not that plugged into the OnlyFans community or world, apart from the people that I see sometimes on those, like, clip farming channels on, like, Twitter and stuff. I don't really know who who's who. The streamers, I know some of the big ones, but I don't really know who the big OnlyFans girls are, to be completely honest. But I'm assuming she's pr probably a hot girl, yeah? Cool. Yep, there we go. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to change my diet and eat a little bit differently uh, because I, I don't want to have to go on medication. Yeah, yo, yo. Uh, big up, Booth McGee. I've watched shift where I was outside my body looking at myself doing the job, still finished out shift. Yeah, those those ones are the those ones are the wildest, isn't it? Where like, or the ones where like, time goes like fast and slow at the same time. It's weird, like, <sighs> yeah. Those, I don't know. Like, you just can't, like, <laughs> It's like it gets to twelve really quickly, and then suddenly to get to one p.m., it feels like seventeen hours. It's like, what the fuck's going on? Like you just can't, like nothing's making sense, honestly. Or I've been, or I've been, I've been, I've sometimes been at work sometimes where like you have this like insane level of fatigue that isn't really fatigue. I don't know what it is. And the moment you leave work, you're like jumping for joy. God damn it, man. Less bullshit jobs. Um, uh, I think that the first thing, you know, people people that go on medication die, uh, in my opinion. Like, I, I think that, like, there's all these times when... <laughs> How is a guy who couldn't even avoid b having high blood pressure now able to opine on medication and its ills? You can't even get your nutrition in line without help. You can't even do the basics, like drinking water and shit. And I don't know, making at least one or two good meals for yourself per day. And now here you are, like, telling us about the faults of medication. Which you might be right on, but it's like, I don't know. You, it seems like you need all the help you can get, my friend. Like, I know people that are, like, younger than me, and they have five different medications. That's terrifying. Absolutely fucking terrifying. And so I want to do whatever I can to, like, be able to, like, uh, you know, overcome it uh, physically myself. I, I think that the human body is, is made to last. It's made to uh, endure. And I'm... <laughs> the human body is made to last, made to endure. Says a very young man who's killing himself by drinking energy drinks. Come on, man. 34, right? And so, like, it, it's going to be a while, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Big up Daniel Clements in the chat. Wild well, go on, Daniel Clements. Anybody joining in right now, make sure you like the stream down below. Don't be... Yeah, like the stream down below. Uh, <laughs> big up... Um, big up... What's that thing? Yeah, big up KP. Imagine if Tiger became like this. Yo, if Tiger became like this, I think I think Brendan might disown him. Because Bre Brendan looks at these people as, as, like, subhuman. He doesn't respect them as, like, men, anything. If his apple of his eye, Tiger, ended up like this, I think he might disown him. Actually, legitimately might disown him. The same way Elon Musk disowned um, his trans daughter and shit. Brendan might just come out and publicly chastise him. Do you know what I mean? He would not have it. He, he can't stand for that. He's too much of a chad. Yeah, you know, I've been alive for a while, and a lot of my friends have already had a lot of issues. And so, um, you know, I think it's the stress. And, and I've been, like, not getting a lot of sleep uh, in a lot of days, too, with, like, anxiety. And so... Uh, that's uh that that that's what it is and yeah. so uh there you go and uh streaming stressful i, I want to make you guys understand this okay this is the least stressful part of my day <laughs> i love streaming i love doing it 
Hmm. It's not your fault. It has nothing to do with the stream. <laughs> Obviously, chatter. <laughs> I know he's just like trying to appease his fans and whatever, trying to be a good guy, but it's like, you don't want to pass a social relationship, but you're talking to your fans like this. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think you kind of like it, bro. I think you kind of like it. This can be annoying. Of course. Of course. But that's not the real reason, okay, guys? It's really not. I wish it was the reason because it would make it so fucking easy to solve. I would just stream less. So, yeah. Uh, so good to hear that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm okay. And so I just want to let you guys know. And I've already been making improvements for a few days. And uh, I've already seen a tremendous dec decline in, like, those, like, high spike blood pressure stuff. And, um, you know, like, going down today, like, just a few minutes ago, it was lower than it pretty much ever has been. And uh, that was, like, in the middle of my stream, in the middle of discussing all of this stuff, right? And so I, I do think that I've already made a tremendous amount of improvement, and I hope that I keep making more improvements. And that's what I'm going to keep trying to do. Looking like that and having those type of health problems must be such a mindfuck, isn't it? Because you probably think, oh, that's only what fat people get. It's like, nah, bro. You could be unhealthy at any size. Like, honestly, be unhealthy. And it's, and it's like the fucking acid reflux. It's like, bro, don't don't you see what's going on here? <laughs> don't you see what your body is telling you? Like, I don't know. Maybe if you maybe if you sit there and your nose just starts bleeding, and then you realize it's not because you got a coke addiction. It's because you've been scraping your inside of your nose too hard. Maybe the the, the likely solution would be to look at your hands and be like, oh. My nails are too long, and then clip them, and then wash your hands. That would be the that would be the like is that that should be what normal people should think. Oh, I didn't do anything. I just think, oh shit, look at your nails. You got blood on your nails. Cool, cut your nails. Simple things. Oh, blood pressure's high. Okay, cool. Let's weigh. Let's let's wean off the fucking energy drinks. Let's try a week of no energy drinks. Oh, I need to get my protein up. Okay, cool. Let me just buy some protein rich foods and eat that for a couple of days or just order it if you don't want to make it yourself is it really that hard because you can you can probably afford to just keep ordering food it probably is more cost effective and time efficient for him to just order in cool but you can order in healthy too jesus bro but again he'll probably figure it out in the end he probably will figure it out but I don't know. It's just just hilarious. I'd look at someone like him. I think myself, wow, man. People people actually hang on these every word, but like when it comes to commenting on like societal things, it's like, bro, bro can't even get his life together in that respect. Like, why would you, why would you listen to him? Like, why, like, how does his voice hold any weight when he legitimately thinks buying protein shake, buying a protein bar is like a good thing, <laughs> long term for his health? It's like, um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Moving on.